I, it's Crystal, your very own personal beauty pro. And when I say I'm a beauty pro, I actually am a professional makeup artist of over 10 years. Along the course of those 10 years, I've also become a licensed hairstylist and esthetician. Primarily, my work is in what's called commercial or advertising, but I also do editorial work like the kind you find in magazines, New York Fashion Week, and a lot more. One of the things I love most is taking those pro secrets tips and techniques and bringing them to the everyday person. If you are an existing supporter, hi pretty people. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you will comment, you will hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and most importantly, that you will hit the notification bell so that when you need your own beauty pro, you know where to find me. I am going to be doing this look that I'm wearing right now for you. And for me, I'm not just doing like a cookie cutter, okay, I'm putting this here, I'm putting that there, or just makeup sped up to music. I actually always try to bury some professional gems in all of the looks that I do. So if you've ever skipped over any of them, you have missed a treat. I'm going to start with this super pretty princessy shade called Lavender Blue and the shade is exactly like it describes. It's a beautiful lavender with a gorgeous blue flip. Brushes are important. This is the Sonya G Worker Pro. It has just the right amount of density to pick up a lot of product but enough softness to make the product look really smooth. I've noticed that those were not as skilled with eyeshadow. Sometimes one of their challenges is not choosing the right brushes for what they're doing. For the lids, I do not have any base or primer. I did apply a little foundation first before this look, which is still not set. I don't like to set my makeup to the very end. Believe it or not, for most of my looks, I very rarely use eye primer. Even for models and clients, I rarely use eye primer and I have never had anyone who had a long day or a performance or anything. I've never had their eyeshadow wear down or crease. It's all in the technique. There are a handful of eye primers that I think are reputable and good, but you can also do a long wearing look without primer. So I'm gonna pack this on first just to get the placement. This brush is perfect for this because it's giving me the intensity and the blend at the same time. Now we're coming in for that second layer and that's what's gonna give you that snap, crackle, and pop on your lid and show off its intensity. But you've created a base. Instead of primer, the eyeshadow itself is the base when you buff it into the lid like that and then it'll grab the next layer and make it really pop and that's without having all that gunk and all those layers of primer and all that concealer and all that powder that I'm seeing people doing those things interfere with the smoothness and beauty and if it's a sheen or a shimmer those things dull your shine and we don't want anything dulling our shine <laughs> next shade we're going to layer on is iridescent orchid and that's a really good description it is a gorgeous orchid like uh, fuchsia color with um, multi-dimensional flip in it too these colors just really dance on the lid so so pretty it's just princessy and pretty probably do with each of these colors and go is go back over them and just tap them with my fingertip to add that final pop make this look really merged and polished soft and super blended we're going to take another shade we're going to take this beautiful peachy shade lotus paradise also with the sonya g worker pro <laughs> when she calls it a worker it really is it's so multifaceted but this time i'm going to focus more on using the very tip of it the edge softly buff that on the edges of the outer corner and when there's very little left on the brush, I'll work it in towards the inner, inner corner. And we're gonna spark this look up with lavender, and you know I couldn't get away without using lavender. <laughs> right in the center of the lid where the two colors meet. For this one, I'm switching to an A2 by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a synthetic brush. Um, the other brush is a little soft, 
to boss lavendering around. Lavendering needs a firmer hand. And your products will tell you whether they like the brush or not. If you're not getting the application you want, switch brushes and try different things. Don't just settle for an okay look. Lay it and press it into, right into the lid that is super pretty. And I'm gonna pop a little bit on my finger too to get that extra pop. Like I said before, I feel like this year's quads are really like combined a mothership all by themselves. They mix and match so beautifully. So I am going to use more of the Risqué Rose and we're going to go into that pink. I want to start deepening the outer corner, but instead of going straight for the chocolate brown, you want to get darker more gradually. I'm going to hold the brush up on an angle right at the lash line where you want the intensity and build it on an angle going up towards the outer tail of the brow. Now we can add that delicious hot chocolate, the mink noir. So I've started with just a teensy bit of product and you just want to whisper of smoke out here. I'm going to pause right here and walk you through how we're going to finish off this look. Before I smudge out the lash line with the chocolatey brown, I'm going to take a black eyeliner by Pat McGrath, of course. I'm going to take the pencil eyeliner and I'm going to rim out the lash line. That's going to intensify the lash line. Then I'm going to smudge that out with the brown. Very, very tight, very, very close to the lash line so it doesn't take over these pretty pastels. You want to be as intentional and purposeful with what you're going to do to the lower lash line. A lot of people just let the lower lash line happen. They might put on some eyeliner, maybe some mascara, and that's it. But you really want to, even if it was just eyeliner, you want to go back and soften the eyeliner so it looks really perfected and smoky or sharp and black, but either way, let your eyeliner look intentional, not just thrown on. But for this look, we're going to go back into the lavender blue. And for the innermost corner, I'm going to apply that color like it was eyeliner. Of course, you want to do the lash justice by either having the most fabulous natural lashes with mascara or by adding a lash enhancement. Okay, so we've got the eyes completed. We are going to tidy up the complexion, add a little bit more foundation and concealer. Then I will come back and show you how that pat highlighter applies. Also the lipstick. Okay, so we have our lips started. We're doing cork lip liner at the very outer rim to really define the lip. And cork is by MAC. But for the beautiful rosy tone you see, that is Pat McGrath Suburbia. The brand new uh, more that beautiful uh, pink with sort of a hint of coral in it. I'm gonna fill in the center of the lip and merge it out into the liner. Pop on a bit of that spectacular highlighter and champagne gold. Highlighter, as I mentioned in my review, is not the one to give you that instant foiled finish. Now you can take up the finish with a fixing mist or with having like a dewy surface beneath it and that will give you more shine but in its powder form it is a beautiful glowing soft elegant highlighter then i want to try that lotus paradise that soft peach and see how much enhancement that gives to the cheek oh that's perfect what a pretty blush and that brings us to our finished first look with the new Pat McGrath quads. I enjoyed creating this look for you and I hope you got some uh, buried treasures, some good tips and tricks for when you are going to be applying your own look, whether you bought these quads or whether you're going to try some similar looks with the products that you already have. I look forward to seeing you in a video very soon, but until next time, Keep it pretty.